All around the world, life thrives in the most extreme environments. Zavadovsky Island is a prime example of just that. Despite being home to an active volcano, it is also home to over a million chinstrap penguins. In today's video, we'll be taking a look at this extraordinary colony of penguins and the volcanic island they call home. Located in the middle of the southern Atlantic Ocean, in an area that is notorious for rough seas and bad weather, Zavadovsky Island is one of the most remote islands on our planet, as it is more than a thousand miles from mainland in every direction. It has an area of about six square miles, making it smaller than many cities around the world. With part of the island being occupied by the volcano, the area the penguins inhabit is even smaller and more densely populated. To put this fully into perspective, the most densely populated city in the world is Manila in the Philippines at 111,000 people per square mile. When factoring in the size of the volcano, it is reasonable to estimate that the areas occupied by the penguins could have a density that is four times greater than that of Manila. These penguins are relatively small, standing just about two and a half feet tall and usually weighing no more than 13 pounds. You might imagine the size of the penguins should make the size and density of the population reasonable, but that is not the case. This is the largest colony of chinstrap penguins in the world and is more than one-seventh of the global population. In addition, the volcano that occupies part of the island, known as Mount Curry, spews toxic fumes on a regular basis. It is even said that it could suffocate a visitor to the island. Although, that is unlikely, unless you were there during an eruption. It is much more likely that the terrible smell of penguin poop and the volcanic fumes would be enough to drive away any unwanted visitors. The volcano erupted as recently as 2016 in an event that put the lives of the penguins at risk. Toxic smoke and ash were propelled out of the volcano and covered as much as half of the island. Unfortunately, at the time of the eruption, the wind happened to be blowing in the direction of the penguin colony. And to make matters worse, most of the penguins would not have been able to leave the island because they were molting, a yearly biological process in which they shed their feathers. Scientists were unable to observe how the eruption affected the penguins because of the island's remoteness and the surrounding stormy seas. For these reasons, researchers usually have to plan for months to make an expedition out to the island. Fortunately, the impact on the penguin population was not nearly as bad as it could have been. Due to the inability to properly observe the situation, the answer as to how the penguins reacted and survived will remain a mystery. This research information is very important and useful in understanding what would happen in a worst case scenario as well as what we could do to ensure the safety and preservation of the species. Prior eruptions were also recorded in 2012 and 1819. Fresh lava was last recorded in 1830. The most recent eruptions have not been detrimental to the penguin population, although two eruptions in the last 10 years begs the question of whether or not Mount Curry has become increasingly active. For the sake of the penguins and marine species near the island, we hope that is not the case. Fun facts about chinstrap penguins. They live for about 20 years. They can swim up to 30 kilometers per hour and swim as far as 80 kilometers offshore every day in search of food. Diving off of 30 foot cliffs as giant waves come barreling into the rocky shore, they risk their lives every day in search of food. They bring back food to feed their mate or young ones, but the way they do it is not the prettiest of sights. Lacking hands and opposable thumbs, they have to carry food in their bellies. The food partially digests on their journey home and is then regurgitated to feed each other. They are generally monogamous, returning to the same mate every year. As mating season begins, males will return to the island several days before the females in order to prepare their nests. And they said chivalry was dead. In order to find a mate, males beat their chests with their flippers and raise their head to screech. The female usually lays two eggs and the parents take turns incubating the eggs in six-day shifts for a total of about 37 days. The penguins will communicate with each other through flipper and head waving, bowing, greening, and gesturing. Arguments over nesting space can lead to showdowns which may include pointing, staring, and even charging. 
Hopefully, the colony of chinstrap penguins that call Zavodovsky home will continue to thrive for years to come. If you found this video interesting and enjoy this type of content, please be sure to leave a like, subscribe, and join us in the next video. Thank you all for watching.